So the constitution of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission selection panel is already quoting controversy after the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance withdrew Augustus Muli and replaced him with Ambassador Koki Muli. In the letter seen by Citizen TV, Azimio says that Augustus Muli was vetted and lacked the necessary qualifications and credentials to represent the coalition in the IBC selection panel and that the National Liberal Party endorsing Augustus Muli is not a parliamentary party within the coalition. This even as the clock ticks towards the deadline while LSK and Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula are yet to officially announce nominees for the lawyer's body and the two persons nominated by the Parliamentary Service Commission respectively. The deadline is today. So far, Dr. Nelson Makanda and Fatuma Saman, who were in the previous election panel, have been retained by the Interreligious Council. Tanui Andrew Kipkoech was nominated by the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, that is ISPAC. And the three persons now nominated by the Political Parties Liaison Committee are now Evans Misati, representing non-parliamentary parties, Nicodemus Bore from the Majority Party, and Ambassador Koki Muli from the Minority Party. That brings the number to six out of the nine members of the IBC selection panel. The selection panel will have 90 days to finalize the, re the recruitment and forward the names of the nominees to the president and shall thereafter stand dissolved unless their tenure is extended by a resolution passed in both the National Assembly and the Senate.